the firm from love, not from fear. And it makes all the difference in the world. What is affirming from fear? You are financially struggling. And you want to avoid this situation. So, you affirm that I am a millionaire. Or all my bills are paid. The predominant emotion behind this affirmation is not love, it is fear. Fear of the piling bills. But if you affirm from the state of love, it is a different story. That is, you want to experience abundance. You want to live a lavish life with more than enough money to enjoy. So, you acknowledge your current state. You do not try to avoid it. You do have a financial situation. But if you can just look at it from love, rather than fear, you will feel a certain bliss within you. This bliss is the first manifestation of affirming the truth. When you affirm from love, it feels true. Because you are mixing your desire with love. And love is the catalyst for speedy manifestations. You have been single for a while and would love to have a relationship. So, you affirm from the state of lack, to avoid the loneliness. Or you affirm in excitement of a loving relationship. You want to enjoy a harmonious and loving relationship. One state of being will make you excited to affirm. While the other one will make you dreaded. This nuance is very common. As I did not understand it for a long time as well. We all start from the lack-filled programming that we have been fed by everyone around us. But try to get this nuance point. In your life, in every single moment, you have a choice. This life is nothing but choices. So, when you affirm, you are kind of claiming your next choice. Your next experience. But words are not important. It is the emotion behind the words that the universe can understand. The all speaks in terms of vibration, energy, and frequency. So, your state of being has a certain vibration to it. As explained in the book, Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. The point is, the lower the emotion, the lower you vibrate. And so, the less aligned you are with the infinite. We are never out of contact with the infinite. But we can create a seeming separation by feeling low. This is why, people in low states attract even worse circumstances in their life. I have personally experienced this. So, when you affirm from a state of lack, when you are trying to avoid a certain situation, rather than wanting to experience a new desired situation, you are more aligned with the situation that you are trying to avoid. So, the affirmation is neutralized. Fear is at the back of it and nothing else. And fear is a lower level emotion. It is not bad, it is just an emotion that you need to allow. It is only when we try to avoid fear that we feel even more fear. And it just stays stuck in our body. Feel the fear fully. Don't think about it. Just feel it. And soon it will dissipate. And you will feel much better. As you feel better. You can allow the love to flow in. By thinking and affirming about what you want to experience. Rather than what you want to avoid. You want to experience freedom. So, try to think on it. Encourage these thoughts. And if fear comes, feel it fully. Fear is not the enemy. It is just telling you that you are focused on the wrong thing. So, you can use it to shift your focus to the right thing. The universe listens to your state of being. And gives you more of it. So, if you practice love fully and feel fear without holding it back, then you are bound to see different results. Very soon. It is inevitable to see different results. Because you are different within. You are speaking a different language energetically now. You are vibrating with higher emotions. So, the outcome of this state of being has to be different. It is always love and fear. At the back of any thought. It is either love or fear. If you are avoiding something, then it is fear. But if you are excited for something then that is love. So, you are choosing between these two base emotions all day long. This is that subtle nuance that makes an affirmation enjoyable or dreadful. And this is what makes an affirmation solidify or get dissolved in the ether. So, practice your focus. Practice to focus on the love of what you want, rather than the fear of what you don't want. Practice feeling love from the people you want love from. Practice abundance in your mind. Freedom, prosperity, health and so on. And soon you will begin to enjoy your affirmations. They will start to feel true. And real. And then the manifestations will follow. And it won't be a surprise. Because your state of being has shifted. And now you are a man or a woman, to whom it is natural to be loved. To be abundant to be healthy. Because you have fallen in love with that version. Rather than trying to avoid the version that you do not like. 